the boys yelled out in the face, they were getting a bit of a wait, and, and previous times when we had been having waitings, we, um, we sort of like just keep an eye on things, but um, no one expected what was going to happen next. It's a rather frightening event, which happens to you when you uh, least expect it. Uh, there was no signs of anything untoward on the evening. We had uh, no tools in place really to uh, give us any indication that we were going to be hit by a wind blast. It all happens in the blink of an eye and there's, there's bang, crash, dust, 28 tonne roof supports hurling forward at, in, the, in split second and it's not nice, it is not nice. When the wind blast event happened and I seen a cloud of dust coming up the road and didn't, had no idea what it was until the actual blast of the wind hit me. And just as I started to move, that piece fell off, hit the back of the roof supports, and uh, the roof support I was standing on and the two either side of me got thrown forward a metre. The biggest fear of it was, was going under the belt, not being able to control your body. It's just picking you up, throwing you, got no control whatsoever. And, and the, the, the pain that was associated with it, just with all, with all the peppering was, um, was unbelievable. It's, you can't really describe it. but. The thing was being picked up and thrown like some of my size, you know, you think you saw you can you can control yourself, but not in that I had no control whatsoever. And that, that was that was the fear. Um, was where I was gonna end up. And when you when you get hit by a rather large amount of air moving very quickly, um, you actually get thrown about quite violently. Uh, with with a system in place you sh you should be hooked up to something that's rather solid and you end up being flapped in the air like a flag. Huge velocity of air that was just uh, that violent that uh, it's, it's just hard to describe. Uh, myself and my two crew members were uh, blown away. Luckily I was able to hang on to something and um, only sustain minor, minor injuries. First off I, I didn't know what what to think. I thought, you know, what the hell's going on here? Because I'm trying to trying to hold my head up, trying to push back against it, and, and I wasn't winning. Um, it, it was beating me, and I was, I was getting pushed down and, and getting held down, basically, and just rolling and pushed, pushed along, and you try and control it, and you, you, you can't. Not only was it the sheer violence of it, but um, they, they tell me that it probably lasted for somewhere between uh, five and seven seconds or something. Uh, but then when it was over, the void that had been created uh, then uh, actually sucked back in the other direction. And uh, I've got to tell you, at that stage, I really thought my days were, were, were numbered. What they said was, what goes out has got to come back in. And after I sort of like went out about the 20 or 30 metres, um, it, it stopped. And I thought, yeah, you beaut. And then I sort of realised it's gone out, it's got to come back. So I went looking for the monorail, fell out with me, me right hand side and grabbed it and sort of like hung on to that, but didn't hang on hard enough and sort of like got the, the roll back in. Probably went about another five or ten metres back in. Um, it all calmed down. Couldn't really breathe that, much, uh, that well because sort of like the ventilation was sort of like really disturbed bad and the, the dust and everything in it. I was the first, first aid person to arrive on the face and recovered Jamie Lonsdale to the back of my man transport and took him out by some 500 metres to where the air was um, suitable and we could actually see who it was. And they were the first ones to find me and they were um, basically talking to the back of my head because of the mud and the dirt and they blown all my head to the front of my head and they were talking to the back end of me. They, they, um, they couldn't believe how, uh, how they couldn't find my face. It was just all caked in uh, mud and dirt and that. Just resulted in a couple of hours in hospital picking pieces of coal out of all down the right hand side of my body. Um, my other two boys sustained um, a back injury and a, another uh, gentleman, he's still been off work uh, with a, a very, very serious shoulder injury, uh, major lacerations to his head that required a, a number of stitches. Yeah, I thought, what's going to happen? Am I going to, you know, what's going to happen? Am I going to get hurt? You've got to stay away from the belt. you just got to stay away from that belt. You get caught in that belt, you're in that tail roller like that, you know, you're gone. You're not going to, there's not going to be nothing to get out. You're going to be a pancake. It's one of the first times I can ever think of that I've felt totally out of control and, and to not be able to pick something like that coming that's uh, got the potential to, for fatalities or multiple fatalities uh, really left me thinking that uh, maybe, maybe it's not the right place for me.